even if you're starting for foundation, which is your first step towards UPSC preparation, you should be clear with certain concepts. You should be done with certain rituals so that your foundation becomes even more effective. You should not be starting your UPSC polity preparation from Lakshmi Kant. Rather, you should choose this book, Indian Constitution at Work. A lot of questions and prelims uh, in three, four years have been asked from this book also. I believe that polity as a subject can be definitely covered through storytelling. So NCRTs will start with those stories in, in, in those boxes separately written, those anecdotes. Now this makes the subject even more exciting. Hello students, I'm Saket Jha. In this video, we talk about how to start studying for Indian polity if you are attempting this exam in 2025 or beyond. So ideally, your foundation class starts in June. And this month, that is month of May, is what we call as pre-foundation month. Pre-foundation month becomes extremely important because we believe that even if you're starting for foundation, which is your first step towards UPSC preparation, you should be clear with certain concepts. You should be done with certain rituals so that your foundation becomes even more effective. So utilize this month of May as a pre-foundation for various subjects. My focus, however, in this video remains only on the polity aspect. So how should you start Indian polity if you are preparing for UPSC? So when we start UPSC preparation, there is one book known as Lakshmi Kant, which is recommended to us by everyone. And it's a great book, no doubt about it. But if you have one year at disposal or beyond that, you should not be starting your UPSC polity preparation from Lakshmi Kant. Rather, you should choose this book, Indian Constitution at Work. It is NCRT of 11th class and it's a beautiful book. I mean, if you have to understand concepts of complex topics of polity, there is no better book available than this. Even the chronology part, it will start with constitution and its philosophy. It will take you to fundamental rights, DPSP, elections, the three pillars that is executive, legislature, judiciary, uh, local self-government, federalism, beautifully designed book written for the audience of 15 to 18 years of age and written in, a, in the most effective and simple language possible. So this book remains the ideal book to start UPSC preparation for polity. And this month of May, you should be reading this book before starting your foundation classes. After you are done with this book, you should come to political theory. It is another NCRT of 11th class and it will take you to concepts of liberty, equality, social justice, citizenship, secularism, nationalism, Although they are not directly related to polity, but, they but these concepts uh, form the backbone of political science. And a lot of questions and prelims uh, in three, four years have been asked from this book also. That is the concepts of liberty, the concepts of state, uh, the concepts of secularism. They, they are now a repeated theme when it comes to prelims also in Indian polity. So these two books are the best books from where you can start and you should be ideally starting your UPSC polity preparation from and then you should be shifting to Lakshmi Khan. So in our foundation classes, I start my foundation lectures, pre-foundation lectures by covering these two books first so that your hold on major concepts of polity is so strong that you enjoy, uh, enjoy attending foundation classes and you also uh, have some sort of convenience in reading Lakshmi Kant also. So why NCR NCRTs are important? Uh, as I said that uh, this exam is no more cramming. This exam has evolved a lot and a lot of concepts are being asked in all three stages, prelims, mains and even personality tests. It has become, become conceptual orient, oriented, it has become application oriented and hence NCRTs become very, very important because no other book does a beautiful job than NCRT 
in making sure that you understand concepts and that too in less time. So you can of course pick up higher level of books, but they will eat up a lot of your time. So Lakshmi, before you start Lakshmi Kant, if you give time to one month to NCRTs, a lot of concepts on important topics uh, like constitution, like executive, like judiciary, like parliament will be developed beforehand. And it will be handy not only in prelims, but also in mains. Because uh, again, answer writing. So if you are very sure of concepts, you will have some amount of confidence to write answer because you will be beginning answer writing. And as a beginner in answer writing, the biggest fear is that you don't understand the question properly. So when you don't understand that, why don't you understand the questions? Because you don't understand the concepts behind that questions. So NCRTs become very important here because when you are confident about that concept, you will definitely write some introduction. You will definitely write some body, right? A lot of value addition will be required, definitely. But if you are conceptually ready, you will be able to write better answers also. And stories, my favorite part, because I believe that polity as a subject can be definitely covered through storytelling and polity and NCRTs will take you to those stories. So if, if they start federalism, they will take you to West Indies. That why Federation of West Indies could not stay united till 1962. And because of uh, a central province and they were independent uh, units with strong economy and they could not remain united till 1962. And in 1973, then they formed, then they, then a treaty came and uh, they became Caribbean people, Caribbean market. They had common uh, legislature, they had common Supreme Court, they had common currency, in fact, common executive also. So various heads of Caribbean government are a part of that common executive. So again, why federalism failed in West Indies? Why federalism failed in USSR, but survived in India? So NCRTs will start with those stories in, in, in those boxes separately written, those anecdotes. Now, this makes the subject even more exciting and it will, it will not only give you a solid introduction, but also a way forward to conclude your lot of answers and means. Also, a lot of best practice. So use this book effectively for means also apart from prelims. And because it focuses a lot on stories, because NCRTs focuses a lot on concepts, you will be able to do magic when you write uh, or when you attempt this exam. Also, it helps you eliminate answers. Again, a lot of questions cannot be directly be solved from NCRTs. That's very true. Hence, Lakshmi Kant and a lot of other value addition has to be done. Hence, foundation classes has to be uh, attended. But if you are sorted with concepts, you will be able to eliminate some questions in prelims, some options in prelims, which will help you, you know, achieve or you, you come to the right answer. So NCRTs become very, very important and you should definitely start quality preparation with these two NCRTs that I have mentioned before, uh, without a doubt. Now, one of the biggest questions that you must be wondering is why, why do we start NCRTs before starting Lakshmi Kant? Lakshmi Kant is the most popular book for UPSC preparation, no doubt about it. People no Lakshmi Kant even outside UPSC preparation circles. It is that popular. It is considered to be as a Bible for Indian polity. But somebody who is not coming with the aptitude of humanities, somebody who fears polity, somebody who's coming from hardcore tech background and has difficulty in understanding polity or constitution will have a difficult time reading Lakshmi Kant because it is highly factual. If you pick any topic from Lakshmi Kant, you will be bombarded with facts. So many facts that student will feel that it is better to cram those facts because there is no scope of concepts. There is no scope of application. And this is where NCRTs come and save your bot because NCRTs are crafted in that way. It is crafted to help you understand those concepts through stories, through through those boxes, through those anecdotes. So there is absolutely 
no better replacement to understand concepts other than NCRTs. You can of course go to other books also, higher books also, but that will eat up your time. NC NCRTs will not eat up your time. You'll be able to finish this in uh, this book in one month only. And then when you attend foundation classes, you will be uh, in a better position to comprehend Lakshmikant also or effectively utilize Lakshmikant also then because you will be clear with your concepts and then you know that you have to just cram Lakshmikant that two facts of that. So Lakshmikant will become easy if you start with NCRTs beforehand and this is what I'll be doing or we will be doing in our foundation lectures also. We start with NCRTs first. The month, this month is what we call as pre-foundation month where we start with NCRTs first before jumping to advanced polity where Lakshmikant will also come uh, into picture. But Lakshmikant is also not sufficient to clear means we, we had discussed this in previous videos that Lakshmikant also has certain limitations but no doubt about it Lakshmikant despite its limitations remains the best book to cover Indian polity but if you want to understand the subject first if you want to apply the concepts of that subject first you should definitely start with NCRTs and that is Indian constitution at work and political theory 11th class. Also NCRTs if you if you read NCRTs they will teach you the evolution of that topic. So if freedom has come, they will take you to Nelson Mandela and they will tell you the evolution of, you know, the concepts, the difficult concepts, freedom, equality, justice, citizenship. So the evolution part, the, the story behind it, such things you will never find in Lakshmi Gant. And it's not that such things are a waste of time. Because if you know such examples, if you have solid examples of Zimbabwe, West Indies, Nigeria, South Africa, that NCRTs will give you in abundance, you will be able to write better answers also. So NCRTs are not only helpful in prelims, but it is also helpful in means. Trust me on this. If you are attempting a mains paper and if you do not know the demand of the question, you don't know the demand of the question because you don't understand the concepts behind it. If you're confident in the concepts itself, you will not struggle with the demand of the question. So NCRTs will come to a rescue when you write means also, if you're conceptually clear about that topic, you will be at least getting that confidence to write answers, to practice answer writing. Writing answers as a beginner with conceptual clarity will is the first step, is ideally the first step. Also, NCRTs focuses a lot on case studies also. These case studies can be your uh, way forward in conclusion or it can be your introduction also sometimes if you uh, use it effectively. And the best part is constituent assembly debates. So the exact verbatim, what happened during uh, the constituent assembly is also there. You will find so many media clippings so you will actually enjoy reading NCRTs and the book really focuses on teaching you concepts. It is not meant to, uh, meant to clear an examination per se, but to make you understand certain complex issues of polity and political science through storytelling, through case studies, through constituent assembly debates, you will be able to get hold of that topic better. Also, I'll show you now that how you can uh, solve PYQs also from NCRTs. I mean, there have been direct previous year questions and prelims from NCRTs and all on the basis of concepts because NCRTs focuses on concepts and hence you should be preparing NCRTs first before jumping to Lakshmi Kant or advanced quality for that matter. If you open NCRT, the first, the first chapter, constitution, third or fourth page, you will find this word written, a government limited in terms of constitution. Is constitutional government that too in bold? I mean, a direct question from NCRT and direct answer is also there in NCRT. And this was asked in 2021, three, four years back. So UPSC is still considering NCRTs as its source for forming direct questions. Also, Okay, it, it is not a fact-based question that you will find from Lakshmi Khan. 
So I have observed that a lot of conceptual topics, a lot of abstract topics where you need, you know, some sort of understanding, some sort of conceptual clarity, you will find the answers to such questions in NCRTs mostly. Lakshmi Kant, when it comes to factual questions, of course, Lakshmi Kant remains the Bible. But when it comes to application based questions, especially very basic application based questions that what is constitutional government? What is a state? Such questions are usually derived from NCRTs and you will find direct the exact verbatim also on in the NCRT book. So this is how helpful uh, NCRTs are when it comes to previous year questions also. Uh, this is a repeated question only. So NCRTs if combined with previous year questions can also do a great job. So prelims 2014, the same question got repeated in 2021 with a different language. So uh, consider the following statements. Uh, constitutional government is one which places effective restrictions on the authority of the state in the interest of individual liberty. So this is the correct answer. Of course, not directly, but PYQ through PYQ, you know that this theme is important. And if this theme is found in NCRT, it becomes extremely important. So if you understand the concepts of NCRT properly, uh, the constitution chapter properly, you will be able to solve this question no matter in what other form it comes, maybe next year or next to next year, you will not face any problem when it comes to constitutional government now. So the constitutional government is one theme that if you read NCRT properly, if you read the first chapter of NCRT properly, you will not miss any question on on constitutional government because now you know the concept of cons constitutional government properly. So this is where NCRTs becomes very, very important. And this is where NCRTs cannot be missed or skipped. If you look at another question, uh, which one of the following factors constitutes the best safeguard to uh, of liberty in a liberal democracy? So this is a question derived from the second book, Political Theory. So when you read liberty as a chapter, of course, after reading Indian Constitution at work, you will be knowing uh, a lot about democracy. You will be knowing about elections. You will be knowing about executive, legislature, judiciary, local self-government, federalism. So you'll be knowing about democracy. Combined with reading liberty, you will be able to understand that why this separation of power is the correct answer and why a committed judiciary centralization of power and elected government is not the right answer for this question. So again, based derived purely on concepts. And as I said, anything, anything that has to do with abstract concepts, liberal democracy, state, constitutional government, NCRTs are the best sort. There is no other rescue to that. With all due respect to Lakshmi Khan book, it helps us to solve a lot of factual questions, but when it comes to abstract concepts, nobody does a better job than the NCRTs and hence, hence NCRTs should be your first step in starting UPSC polity related preparation. Similarly, if you read federalism uh, in NCRTs, you will be again able to find uh, the answer to this. Which one of the following in Indian polity is an essential feature that indicates that it is federal in character and you will be knowing that this is the right answer solely derived on concepts and very, very clearly in federalism topic that is there in Indian constitution at work, you will know that this is the right answer and these three are not. So when we do a pre-foundation class that starts from 16th of May, especially for polity. It has already begun for geography and other subjects. For polity, it starts on 16th of May. I will be covering NCRTs first as your pre-foundation before we jump into proper foundation in June.